white people and black people coming together and I found great comfort and understanding in that, although it's slightly different from my culture, so um, more of that, it's just amazing. Yeah. Good to meet you, good luck tonight. Thank you. I think it's actually has such an allure to be able to perform without an audience and I was saying earlier that it's actually such a unique opportunity to be able to, for, to perform in a place like this sort of fully ready to go dressed without a crowd so I look forward to that and hopefully I'll come back another time where I can have a, a big audience. A bit more intimate, is that what you're thinking? Yeah I think so and you get to have um, an intimate reaction with this like historical venue that otherwise you probably wouldn't get other than in a sound check. So I think it's quite amazing. Um, well, it's definitely been quite daunting, daunting at points and I've just found myself having to adapt. And I think just as you get used to the new way of life, something else changes and then you kind of have to figure out how to to readjust again so I've definitely had real ups and downs like I'm sure everybody else has and it's just learning how to understand yourself in those times really and the people around you yeah really nice yeah and I have some shows in July which we originally planned for them to be socially distant but perhaps with news later on this year we might be able to expand those into bigger shows which would be amazing actually and um, I'm just looking forward to being able to meet people and situations not be so controlled and have that spontaneity again like back in our lives. Yeah, I think it is really, really important. I think it's a conversation that we are having across the industries, whether it's fashion, music, art, film, everything. And there's no shadow of a doubt that it's of the utmost importance to see that diversity across our screens because it just gives us a sense of relief and understanding and empowerment and also I think film can be such an important gateway into understanding the lives and cultures of other people and then perhaps with that information you don't feel as frightened to delve into that and um, I, I think it can be a great sort of educational tool really. Oh thank you very much. Um, yeah it's a designer called Delara Fintacoglu. Yeah. Thank you, so Thank much. you very much. <laughs>